Hi again, it's Julie from Virginia with another Bible Life. We're fighting over Doritos over here. <laughs> Shit. So, um, no. we're back with another Bible Life. My granddaughter's here visiting today. She's ma making it down determined I'm going to have to do the video when she's home. <laughs> okay. Um, so, we're going to entitle this one. Jesus said to follow him. Okay, so I'm going to list the reasons why it's really good to follow Jesus. One is that it was the best decision I've ever made in my entire life. Um, that he gave us life. That baptizing is wonderful cleansing. And it just cleanses our whole soul. Okay, Jesus keeps his the demons away. I wish he takes some more away from the from this house, but yeah, keep some away from me. Okay, so far so good. Eternally with Jesus, living eternally with Jesus, we can have everlasting life with him in heaven, where it's beautiful. I always do this with my glasses. <laughs> okay. Um, so then, another part would be our prayer, and our prayer today is that. We could lead as many people to Christ as we can, okay, that they would all follow him, that more people would follow Jesus, okay? Lord, our Heavenly Father, our prayer today is that the more people would follow you. And there really is no direction that they ever want to go. There's just so many reasons, peace and love and joy and just they, they, the numbers of reasons to follow you is just unnumerable. But yet, so many people just are think that it'd be boring. Please help them to follow you. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. Okay, there's a lot of reasons they don't. Boring is one, or I, but I, I can't even name them all, but it's sad. Okay. So now we're going to go to Matthew 9, 9 out of the Bible. That is going to be where our answer is to our question. And this thing just doesn't want to stay on today. So that's okay. We'll just let it go. All right. Nine, nine. Um, I just try to not show my angel wings. They're terrible. They're horrible. <laughs> I found it. And it fell on the floor. Okay, so the question is, what did Jesus say to Matthew when he called him? What did Jesus say to Matthew when he called him? Okay, so we are going to go ahead and go to Matthew 9.9. 9. Okay, okay. Sorry about that. Okay, here we go. So, it goes, as Jesus passed, okay, this is in Matthew 9, 9. As Jesus passed from there, he saw the man named Matthew sitting in the at the tax collector's office. He said to him, be my disciple. Side with my party and follow me. And he rose and followed him. Now his party was not happy about that. They were like the tax collectors are the bottom of the earth. And But Jesus didn't come to take care of the healthy. He came to help the, poor, help the, the ones that are sick. And people that are in sin are what he considered sick. Okay, so we're going to do a closing prayer. No, let's do the little book and the little ant. One more. One more Bible verse and we'll do a little prayer and I'll let you go. All right. O you, O Lord, in you, O Lord, I put my trust. Let me never be put to shame. Psalms 71, 1. Okay. All right. So let's do a little prayer. Lord, our Heavenly Father, thank you, thank you, thank you for another day. 
Keep to continue to lead me and guide me in your direction and lead so many others that they may follow you. In Jesus Christ, I name I pray. Amen. Okay, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments, questions, or the answer to that one, put that down below. That would be great. And if you want to subscribe, you'll get one every day. Okay, bye for now. God bless.